In order to bring the Hyperloop concept a little bit closer to reality, Elon Musk decided to host a competition. He told the world, come up with Hyperloop designs and let the best design win. When I first heard about the Hyperloop competition, I really wanted to join. There's many different ways that people can collaborate online and solve problems. And that's where our loop comes in. We're a Hyperloop Pod design team from 14 countries all over the world. The R-Loop Pod does a good job in bringing together an existing technology used in business class jets with revolutionary new technology. The case of the Hyperloop, it's going to be able to reach, in theory, speeds of 700, maybe even 800 miles an hour. Just to get from LA to San Francisco in 35 minutes, there's, there's almost nothing else like that. With airplanes, you have to deal with air, but in the Hyperloop tube, you're going to have a low pressure environment. But seeing this thing hover and seeing it move, it's so futuristic, but it's really right around the corner. How it started off was the first couple of weeks, we had these very committed team members who would come back and then every single day we're working hard, pushing this thing, getting it going. Over some time, that sort of snowballed into this larger and larger team. Our loop worked together to design and present a pod concept to SpaceX, beating thousands of other entrants and becoming the only non-student team selected to race later this year. This idea is so big that we need so many moving parts. Right now, we're raising money to help manufacture this pod. We want to build this pod to be as safe and as reliable as possible. And so with that in mind, we ask that you consider contributing so that we can buy parts, we can buy materials. You can help by either joining our team or contributing in our crowdfunding campaign. No matter how you choose to help us, you will be working towards the future of the Hyperloop.